Brakati Yahawu, Brakati Yahu Shai, Brakati Yahawu, Brakati Yahu Shai, Brakati Yahawu, Brakati Yahu Bashim Yahu Shai, Bashim, Chakudash, the blunts of the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone drew well. Salutations to the whole for the elect out there, you Akim to Zadakim that do this thing in the utmost truth and sincerity. On the pre Shaman, this week's topic is check out the Kanye interviews. Check out the Kante, Kanye interviews right now that he's doing with Tucker Carlson because. Bro, he is saying a lot. He is saying a man. He's talking about the Clintons. He's talking about the Kushners. He's talking about Israel and Palestine. He's saying so much right now in these interviews. Far more than like a fucking guy like Tupac did. I mean, Tupac was kind of... Some of these dudes rebel. A lot of Israelites sometimes, not a lot, a few, they'll get into reading to the Bible and their consciousness will say, man, this shit I'm doing ain't right, right? So... So, I'm going to go ahead and read this real quick. This is a book of Acts 24 and 16. And herein do I exercise myself to have always a conscience void of offense towards the Most High and towards men. And that's what this Bible do. When you get into the Bible, which Kanye calls himself getting into the Bible. Look, you think when Kanye come across a scripture like this, and he knows he's an Israelite. This guy knows he's an Israelite. He's grown out his beard. This this word, it 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 it, it creates a moral code in you. You know what I mean? Some Jakes might have had a moral code before the truth, but you definitely have that reassurance of fear. That man, damn, God's watching me. Like I, I gotta, I gotta get right with the God. You know, even Jakes that don't know that the Israelites sort of have this mindset, and that's what's happened with this dude Kanye. He's rebelling against this programming. So when you go to Fox News, type in Ye interview Tucker Carlson. Look, he got one right here where his connections faded with the Obamas. The dude is going, and I'm listening to this thing, like, and he's saying, like, damn, is this too much for this platform? And, you know, Fox News is like, nah, go ahead, just your opinion. And he was, you know, he was talking about how he didn't, how close his wife, Kim Kardashian, that slut, is to the Clintons, man. And if you know anything about the Clintons, they'll suicide your ass. So I hope this guy's putting out disclaimers that he has no intentions to kill himself. Guys like him, guys like Andrew Tate. All right, we're seeing an uprising of men right now. Men are pissed off with the society, the feminization of men, the oppression, of, the oppression of men, this godless country. Yo, man, a revolution is like inbound, you know. Or as the scripture says, sedition, um, in the book of Second Ezra, so, uh, the fifteenth chapter, which is an uprising against the government. First uh, Titus, and don't be surprised if Jake starts it. 1 Timothy 3 and 9, holding the mystery of the faith in a pure conscience, right? So, <clears throat> holding the mystery of the faith, which is this knowledge, understanding it, in a pure conscience. Now, these scriptures are, will be read in the churches. It's the New Testament. They'll come across it. You know, how did I find these scriptures? I just said, what does the Bible say about a pure conscience? Just to give me some inspiration. These scriptures are popping up left and right. So, you're telling me our people, that you know, even if they bugged out, in um, plantation Christianity, they're going to still have some sort of conscience. They're still going to feel bad about what they're doing. I think that's what's happening with this dude. You know, he's seeing what happened with his kids. He's seeing his wife getting dogged out by some dude and, and all that. I think he even came out and, and, and said that. Um, it, I don't know if it was him or it was, I don't know, it was Ray J that pretty much said that the Kardashians, they had three different versions of the sex tape they wanted to release. They, they, they carefully calculated which version of the sex tape they wanted to release. And here's the kicker. This shows you how low these people are. They had money before the sex tape was released. So this woman deliberately, to boost her clout, released her sex tape for herself with no consideration of what her kids might be seeing that years down the line. And that's what's happening. Her kids are seeing that years down the line. Your mom getting banged out by some dude that's not even your, your real father. You see the promiscuousness. Oh, that's why the book of... Isaiah the 47th chapter speaks about the shame of America being seen, man. America, Babylon, Egypt, Sodom. This place is being exposed for what it is, which is a place void of um, ceremonial, uh, uh, respected values. It's a lowland morally, sexually, and ceremonially. You know, that's why when you read the book of Micah, it says depart out of her. The part out of this place because this is defiled. When you look up the file, that's what you get. The file ceremonial ceremonially. The ceremonies in America are wicked. Alright? They even have to backtrack on shit like Columbus Day. They have to change it to Indigenous Day because it's, it's exposed that this dude was wicked as hell. Sexually, 
they have flags, all type of color flags, man, and they're pushing towards bestiality and morally. You look at the laws and commandments, you know, they're grievous, Isaiah 10 and 1. So people are starting to revolt. People are starting to rebel. And what's so crazy about Kanye is this guy's a billionaire and he has a huge influence, man, trying to fight against the programming. I, I know he was into that satanic shit, you know, from some of his previous songs, all right? But I remember him when he first came out, he kind of came out on some church stuff anyways, like Jesus walks and all. It was always sort of in him. But he was like playing the fence, but you can see now he's trying to rebel more against that program and reading the Bible. No, he's in Hebrew, is it like him and um Big Sean? But here's the thing though, you can't serve two masters. So either you're gonna love the one and hate the other. And I think that's what we're seeing with this dude right here right now, you know? At at, at least for now, you know. Sometimes these guys will switch back into some bullshit. I find it very fascinating where this might go because he's saying a lot, man. You see, he's saying a lot of shit right now. First Peter 3 and 16, having a good conscience that having a good conscience that whereas they speak evil of you as of evildoers, they may be ashamed. Right. So if you do the work of the Lord in truth and sincerity and not just in the eyes of men, nobody can put you to shame because there'll be no secret thing people could dig up against you, you know, because you've always served the Lord in, Lord in truth and justice. It says that falsely accuse your conversations in your Shai. Right. That falsely accuse, you know. Paul had a good report. You're supposed to have a good report first with your Bashim Yahushai and then men. You know, because you want a good report with men too, because scriptures speak about a good name. And I think that's what this dude, you know, I, again, I'm speaking as a man. I could be proven wrong later. I'm not saying everything I'm saying is set in stone, but that's his actions are showing that his conscience is fucked up right now. You know, he lost his damn family. He's, he knows that there's a cabal and all that. So he's just like, fuck it. I'm just going to say everything. I don't give a fuck anymore. Take my life if you have to. I'm ready. That's the spirit he's in. That's some of, that's some of the stuff he's saying. And he used a huge platform that is against the left, if you will. All right? Because Fox is the right. But they have a ton of um, platforms. Now, left wing, right wing is still the same bird. But trust me. The, the 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 civil um conflicts within the elites of Esau is is real. You know, it's real. Because think about this. Even though presidents for the most part are selected by either fraction of the Illuminati, for lack of a better term, all right, they sp they still spend billions of dollars to campaign. Why do they do that? Because elites aren't all unified, if you will. You know, they're not a hundred percent all unified. Like they all want like a, a, a to rule the, the world, right? But the best way I could explain it is like Game of Thrones. If you know Game of Thrones, you have all these different families that want to sit on the throne, all these noble houses that want to, which Esau ain't noble, but I'm just using that. You have all these noble houses that want to sit on the throne or rule Restoros, but what they do, they cut through each other, they make alliances behind each other's backs and all that. And the same shit happened here, even with the Rothschilds, man. Not every Rothschild like each other, you know? I wish I could find a documentary that proved that, but they go against each other, man. You see? Why? Because they're fighting over the Iron Throne. So they'll use puppets. They'll say, look, let, let me get Kanye. No, I, I I want Kanye. Let me get this one. Let me get that one. Let me let me get this news network. Let me get... And they push out their agenda. And push out which side they want in power. You see? Because even at the very top of this thing, there's infighting, man. Hebrews 4 and 12, for the word of the Most High is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. Right, so when you read these scriptures, you get cut in your mind. You get seared in your mind. And you think about your, your next steps. Like, damn, like, I don't want to piss off the Most High because I know if I piss off the Lord, I'm, I'm in for it. He's going to fuck me up some way, somehow. It says, for the word of the Most High is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even the dividing sunder of soul and spirit. You read a scripture, man, it'll do more to you than the, getting punched in the face. How it'll play with your mind for years, you know, and you'll feel like shit. You know, like, damn, man, I can't believe I did this to that or, you know, especially when you fuck up and go off. You're like, damn, Lord, why did I, you know, there's a, there's a, there's a conscience there with Jake, man. You see? Even, um, them wicked ass two third niggas, they'll, they'll, that get locked up and go to prison, they'll do all types of murders, but guess what they'll do? They'll, they'll kill a, a so-called pedophile rapist. So even amongst them, they kind of, 
as wicked and bugged out as they be, they kind of like, nah, you know, that's too much, you know? So that's that's Jake right there. It says, and marrow and is a discerner of thoughts <coughs> and intents of the heart. That's how come when we out there and teaching the work of the Lord, people act so bugged out and strange that if they might know you. If you was out in the world doing some wicked shit, whatever, and they see you on a Saturday, they wouldn't say much to, oh, you just, you into that? Okay, that's that's different. But when you into this, they, they all like, they all like tense up, like, holy shit, what is this guy, you know? Because they, this word cuts these people, man. This word cuts this world, you know? And that's, and that's what's happening with this dude, man. So, hey, brothers, I recommend you brothers go out and watch these interviews, see what this dude is saying. It's a lot to speak on, man. It's a lot to speak on. He has a voice. He has a platform. And, hey, man, <laughs> the, the most I is the one that ultimately puppeteers a man's mind, you know? So, if if he, he depends on how much he says, it's whatever the Lord wants out, out there. All right, so, hey, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Mokako Dash, the belongs to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone True Well. Salutations to the hopeful elect out there. You Akim to Zadakim that do the signal of truth and sincerity. Shalom.